And now the news. The government of the Virgin Islands is defending its recent motion in the House of Assembly for the compulsory acquisition of a plot of land earmarked for a sewage pump station opposite the East End Police Station. A government press release on the disputed land issue states that one of the landowners contacted the ministry on October 10, 2014, indicating that the landowners had collectively decided not to release the requested land under any circumstances and offered an alternative site in close proximity to the bakery in East End. Michael Marlowe Shinnery owns land in the area and he is a member of the family that owns the property acquired by government for the pump station. He gave his take on the negotiation process and showed JTV News the alternative site that was offered the government for the project. Someone called in sometime and said that you can't put it below the bakery. But they forget that it's right in front of a restaurant, a couple of restaurants around here. They forget that. You know, they ain't looking at that part. We have a restaurant here. We have Wild Go, we have a new restaurant open there, and we have a couple of clubs and bars and stuff around here. And you know, and stuff like that. So people be wrong here. This is our shopping places around here. So we don't know what this thing is. We need to know what it is. If you come to us that have business around here and tell us and show us what it is, then we could consider things. But we don't know. We everything is just a done deal without coming to the people. It can't be like that. This is a community where we're willing to be building up this community. We're ready to build this community. What we do, we might need help building it, but we thinking about building this community. What about the portion of land behind the bakery? Is it, well, I noticed the engineers are saying that this area is the best area, but what is the difference? Well, it's on the same flat area. It's right there, I can show it to you. See those coconut tree right there? That's where the land is. It's right there, so it's the same flat area. It's not up in a hill, not down in a gut, it's not in the same flat area. I mean, come on, you know. This, this is ridiculous. They, they, they wouldn't have no problem if they go there because they're thinking about putting the land, the, the stuff over here. Then I mean the catering for what they're going to do with the, um, the rest of the property. What are they going to do with the rest of the property? When they take and they put that stuff right there, what are they going to, what's, what's they going to do with the rest of the property? Give it away after that to somebody, some one of their colleagues or their friends? For 99 years? No. You know? The government should take the piece that they need for that purpose if they're going to take any. You know? And the engineer actually said to me they don't need all of this. The one that came there said they don't need all this property. You know? So we need to go to the drawing board again with this. Government's press release stated that officials from the Ministry of Natural Resources and Labor made contact with one of the relatives of the two registered landowners in August 2014 to communicate government's intent to purchase the land to construct the pumping station. The release also said that ministry officials met with the relative in order to discuss plans and provide the opportunity for the representative to review the drawing on September 2, 2014. A formal letter was then sent to the two registered landowners on September 3, 2014. Addressing a recent sitting of the House of Assembly, opposition member for the 3rd District Julian Fraser says the owners of the land being acquired should be given a portion of government's land elsewhere in return. Just, it's just over a half acre, Madam Speaker. And I'm asking the question to myself, how much land do you need for this pump station? And no one is saying, no one has said to us, well, listen, we need a quarter of an acre. What I, what I want to make sure, Madam Speaker, is if you compulsory acquire a piece of property from someone, I don't want to see somewhere five years, 10 years from now, someone say, well, you really needed a quarter of, the, a quarter of an acre. And the next thing you know, you see someone squatting on the other quarter of an acre, which, which naturally becomes theirs after a while. So information is key here, Madam Speaker. Information is key and it's, it's, not, it's not here. I also think, Madam Speaker, given the nature of this, which is land, belongs to a family for generations, that government needs to do more. They need to do more. 
don't just go and say well you know because of the law we have the right we can take this land and and put some money in, in an account for you after we negotiate after we assessed it and this is what it cost this is your money I think we can do more Madam Speaker, I am suggesting that if it is absolutely necessary that this government takes that land to do a swap. Do a swap with property that government owns. You got Wickham's Key land. Give them a piece of Wickham's Key land in exchange. Make the family happy. I haven't seen them. I don't even know. I don't even know what their thoughts are regarding it, but I do know the sensitivity of the nature uh, of, of taking land from people. Premier Dr. Orlando Smith, in his response to the concerns raised by Julian Fraser, gave a commitment to ensure that the landowners are compensated. It is unfortunate that um, my colleagues on the other side of the table will believe that um, extensive and um, negotiation discussion have not been had before this was even considered, and that's been going on a long time. It's also unfortunate that you remember to believe that the opportunity does not still exist for the um, for continued discussion with the family to whom this land belongs so that uh, the, the best solution as far as they're concerned will be, will be, will, the outcome will be, 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 be available. Um, your suggestion of land of Wickhamski, your suggestion of Greenland, all that is still on the table. I know in the past um, when um, some lands have been acquired, people have not been compensated. The fences that were removed have not been replaced. But this is not going to happen here. Eh? And um, I give my word that, that this is not going to happen. And that, again, you know, whatever needs to be done will be done. The discussion will continue until, some, until there's a satisfactory outcome with the person to whom the land belongs. But as you all, all agree, it is important for both this person and the other people in Long Lake region area to be able to that the sewage project continues to an end, so everybody benefits. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The sewage pump station was placed on hold to allow further discussions with the registered landowners, but government moved to acquire the land according to the procedures outlined in the land acquisition laws of the Virgin Islands. The Ministry of Natural Resources said the site selected is integral to the National Sewage Project from a technical standpoint. The Ministry says the land was viewed by the engineers for the National Sewage Project as the lowest and most centralized point in terms of unoccupied land as the majority of the sewage lines travel from gravity sites. 